Good day everyone, in the last couple of videos released on our channel, you would have watched how we came to this Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory of Australia, where we camped, how was our experience of walking into the bush looking for pigs to hunt, going on a boat and fishing from the river, went for a walk into the bush again and fished along the river bank. The last video ended on our way back to the camp after we finished fishing along the river bank. This video starts from there and I am going to show you what else we have done in our camping trip. If you are new to this channel and willing to watch more content like this, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's get this video rolling. We got a lot of fishes when we went on a boat for fishing but we just caught only one fish when we tried fishing from the river bank. It was not bad though. After returning to the camp, the first thing we did was lit up the campfire using the woods and the leaves from the bush. We kept the campfire going well, collected plenty of firewood for the night, our camps were ready and we were relaxing well while the dinner was getting cooked in the gas tub. We cooked some sausages and with them we put some vegetables too. It was our dinner. Some sausages and vegetables with bread and mango chutney. It was a good meal after a very busy day in the bush. After having the dinner, I relaxed for some more time in the campfire. It was a wholesome experience. I highly encourage you guys to go for camping in the bush and spend some days with nature. After some time, I went into the camp and slept looking forward to doing more adventures on the next day. In the next day morning, around 6 o'clock, me and Rob went for a walk to the wetland area with our bow and arrow looking forward to hunt down any pigs.
We went very quietly and when we reached the wetland area, we couldn't find any pigs or any other animals. But there were plenty of birds around. After going for a walk, we decided to take our boat and go for a bit of fishing in the river. Good morning, Rob. You want me to check the net or? <clears throat> She's stuck in the hinge of his lip. Mm. Rob caught a barramundi after a few minutes of fishing. We pulled that little fellow into the board, removed the lure and let him go in the river again. Have you read? <laughs> <laughs> We came yeah, to the camp sleeping. after some more time and noticed that Jamie was still sleeping in his tent. Good morning, Jamie. <laughs> after we came to the camp, we started cooking some bacon and eggs for our breakfast. We had sandwiches with a couple of bread pieces with bacon, eggs, tomatoes, lettuce and cheese. The breakfast was good and no complaints from anyone. After having breakfast, we decided to disassemble our tents, pack up everything and leave from our camping spot. We packed all of our stuff, put down the fire and loaded everything onto our board. Did you go? Yeah, ready to go, mate. I'm tired. Push. Oh, feet gone. 
we then left our camping spot with some good memories over the past couple of days but it is still not over guys we did some more fishing and we also went for bushwalking and hunting in some other bush area on our way back On our way back, Jamie caught the first fish. It was a Saratoga, not like the previous one we caught from the river bank. It was a small fish and its skin was a bit darker and less in golden color than the previous one. We pulled it into the boat and let it go again in the river. After that, we found a spot to park our boat and went into the bush with our bow and arrow for hunting. We went for bushwalking and hunting for last couple of days, but we couldn't find any pigs or buffaloes. All we found was kangaroos and a couple of snakes. We thought we might find some pigs this time. Wait and watch to see what we have found this time. We were walking nearly for an hour. We only noticed few kangaroos running away in the bush and nothing else. We kept going and found a wetland area close to us. We thought there would be animals around that area and started approaching very quietly. We also saw some evidence of pigs there. There were some footprints and mud marks of pigs. We kept searching for the pigs. There were some muddy puddles and water holes around that area and more evidence of pigs being around that area. Ah, no, 
Avi didn't try. Just came along the bush. Pigs and other animals should have gone somewhere deep into the bush as they sensed human movement there. After some time, we felt like it was enough walking in the bush and returned back to the river bank where we parked our boat. Then we started fishing again in the river and Rob got another fish. It was a small Saratoga, the lure stuck him very badly and the fish bled a lot. Anyway, we left that guy again in the river. Then after some time, Rob caught another fish. That was a small barra. Rob was very lucky in this fishing trip. He got more fishes than Jamie and I. He enjoyed his fishing, took few photos with the fish and let that go again in the river.
boy. Then there was another barramundi we caught. It was bigger than the previous one. The lure got stuck inside the mouth of that barramundi in a couple of places. It got caught very well. We took some photos of that fish as well and Jamie kept spoiling the photos inserting his beer bottle into the photos. It was fun though. <laughs> that was our last fish and after that we started traveling towards some boat ramp. We went past the wide river and then the narrow creek which we came past on the very first day. There were a lot of mangrove plants on either side of the creek, woods and logs fell across our path and we rode our boat very slowly without hitting any woods or logs. After some time of traveling very slow through the narrow creek, we entered the main stream of river. Then we started traveling faster towards our boat ramp.
Finally, we reached the boat ramp. We reversed our vehicle with the trailer and drove our boat safely onto the trailer. Jamie fixed the board on the trailer and pulled it out of the water. We started traveling towards our home and that's the end of our fishing, hunting and camping trip in the Kakadu National Park. That was an awesome fishing and hunting trip guys. We did a lot of adventure and spent time with nature for the last couple of days. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more adventures like this. I will definitely see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.